Hello everybody, welcome back to another Commander game. We are going to hop back to Aloro for this one. And we're playing against the DC. This hand... This hand... Um... It's kind of keepable if I'm okay with wasting Pajukabog. Which I th might be okay with. I'll keep it, but I think it's a pretty bad keep. Fair enough. The only card I really wanted here is a commander sphere, so if you take that. Alright, kid. I can live with that. Uh, Dark Seal and Gate would have made up for that. So we're just gonna Bajuga up Bog turn one to get a tap land out. Pure Tutor is interesting. I could get a Soul Ring, then next turn I could play Soul Ring and a Signet. Man. <laughs> the lag when you go to search your deck in Commander. Alright, so, uh, I think I'm okay with Soaring. I'm not gonna overthink it. Alright, knock that out. And we'll knock the Signet out. Play a land and pass. So we're in okay shape now. We got mana, we just need to draw probably some sort of card draw engine at this point. Fetch lands in a monocolor deck. So we know we're probably playing against a pretty good deck here. Ooh, no rod. That uh that changes things. That explains why I wouldn't destroy the um commander sphere. Or uh Thossies, I mean. We're gonna play it out anyways. We have plenty of answers to Nolrod, we just gotta draw them. Sidisi. So we just control magic it, right? Oh, yes. Right. Right, she can do that. Interesting. wonder if this is just a straight up stack stack. Let's see what we got. Planes is a pretty good draw for me. Can't complain too much. A lot of our answers to Nolrod involve whites. Chains. This card's confusing as hell, but I think it means if I want to draw an extra card, I have to loot. Something like that. See what happens. Not great. Oh, I can't even activate that sacrifice effect. Alright, ship the turn back. Uh, maybe I should play a Loro. I doubt it. I'm playing a mono black deck with seven cards in hand. It's probably not worth it. Corpse stance. Oh, that's right. He let CDC stay in the graveyard. Interesting. I don't mind chains too much as we stand, but that could become annoying. I could really go for like a merciless eviction or something, I guess. Factor fiction, huh? It's a good draw. Really. Um, I kind of want the top pile. 
I don't really see Ashiok doing much here. But he hasn't showed me an answer for Planeswalkers either. Maybe there's a chance I get down all the way to the point where I make him discard things. That's an okay draw. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> Just kidding. There's an overrod in play. Yeah, he's got lots of creature uh, creature removal, it looks like. Hiding Needle, probably on Jace. Guess it could be Ashiok if he's scared of it. Yeah, must be scared of Ashiok. Interesting. Uh, let us take Jace down first. There we go. Hmm. So do we want to utter end that null rod? I don't think I care too much about it. I really don't, do I? Honestly, it's chains that's more of a problem. Oops, let's not do that. So if I want to play this... Okay, so let's play Almeret's Archive. And next turn, we can utter end the chains before we draw with Jace and etc, etc. That sound good? It's a weird game. Corpse Dance, sure. I guess he could do this every turn now, huh? Maybe I leave up Utter End to uh, break this combo up. Let's utter end chains. Hmm, I don't know if this is the right play. Decree of pain, huh? I guess that will be handy. I'm gonna lose Jace here though. I'm gonna lose oh Jace. So that might not have been the right play. Uh, I should have took Jace up, that's what I should have done. He would be at four and they wouldn't be able to kill him. It's fine, that's, yeah, whatever. So do I decree here? Uh, I think I do just to draw cards if nothing else. So there we go. Oh my gosh, really? This is stupid as hell. Remember that factor fiction where we put three lands on the bottom as well? Just saying. Played Corpse Stack. Corpse Dance at instant speed, because he wanted to keep Condemnation, that's interesting. He probably thinks I have cards that matter in my hand. Wow! More lands. You're just gonna do this every turn? 
That's his game plan, I won't complain. Contamination doesn't do much to me, currently. Be nice to play that, but it's fine. Oh, actually, I can't cast a Laura with uh, Contamination, huh? It's fine. Play this game until I draw a black spell. That doesn't really matter at all. I feel like the worst feeling uh, right now is that he thinks he's screwing me so hard, but he's not, and I can't really do anything about it because my hand is just shit. It just kind of feels bad. I don't know why it isn't just putting the mana in. Some weird interaction with contamination. Let's make him discard. Mm, fair enough. Could have tutored there, I guess, but don't really know what I would have gotten. It would have had to be black. I don't think I have a mono black answer to this combo. It's a weird loop he has going on for sure. When contamination is starting to get to the point where it's screwing with me, I think. Hmm. So let's say hypothetically I tutored with Liliana there. What would I have gotten? I'm really, really not sure. I could have just gotten like Soren and played him out and dropped him to 10 life. Not really sure that would have made a difference. Um, what else? I don't even know. You have to be minus black or mono black. I don't think a mono black answer to contamination is in my deck. I mean, I could have board boy or well, maybe wiped his graveyard somehow, but I think my two graveyard hate spells are already used up, so that wouldn't work either. And now he's got a clock. And I have so many lands. The thing is, like, I have plenty of draws still, right? Like, my deck has lots of black spells. A reasonable amount, anyways. Although, maybe not, huh? Maybe I don't have a lot of just straight mono black spells. Ugin's probably gonna end the game here. Oh, Bitter Blossom lets him sack something to contamination every turn. So that way he can corpse dance for CDC and actually just tutor every turn. I guess that's what's going on here. I don't know. I mean, I feel like Steward should really be doing something more than he has been. Like, you can ult. I don't even really care. Let's put seven permanents in play, I guess that's a thing. Gain seven life, draw seven cards. I mean, that's good for sure. But it's not like it puts me in... I don't know. It doesn't just win him the game, I guess is what I'm getting at. Not when he's not putting any pressure on. 
so I think he has to... He has to keep one of these creatures eventually. Really, he just sacked our confident. Interesting. I mean, theoretically he's gonna get something here at some point that he can just use to kill me, right? It's just a question of how long do we have to wait. Oh, there you go, he ulted Ugin. Worm coil engine, that helps. And Karn, alright, Karn will do it for sure. Exile a card from my hand. Land. Nothing. It's playing pretty fast at least, so that's good. He definitely uh, knows how to play this deck, so that's cool. Exile a card from your hand. Teferi, I guess. That would have been pretty good. What does Word of Command do? That's a weird card. Get target opponent's hand, choose a card from it, you control that player until it finishes dissolving. Player plays the card of Fable. Alright, so... Like nothing? It's weird. Yeah, I don't know. To me, it's incredible how slow this game is going, considering that he has a free tutor for every single turn, you know? Exile the cards from your hand. My carnal isn't even that good for him. Because I'm just exiling instant and sorceries for the most part. I guess uh, I did to ferry that one time. But there's no reason for him to ult Karn. So how are you guys doing? Having fun? You should really just ult Karn at this point, I think. He'd restart the game with... some big baddies in play from my side. And I'd have no lands. There's really like no reason for him to continue playing out the game the way he is, I think.
Are you guys bored yet? I'm a little bit bored. I could surrender. But I feel like when people play decks like this, the best... I don't know. Revenge is to make them kill you. And he's getting there. It's not gonna be too much longer. So I wonder at what point in this game doing something differently would have made a huge difference. I think um, probably destroying the Null Rod instead of the chains. Maybe that was a sort of point at which this game ended. Because if I destroy the Null Rod, I would still have colored mana here, right? So that's a thing. I think if I wanted to win this game, that's when I would have had to... That is the adjustment that I would have had to make. And I think if I did do that, I don't see how I wouldn't have won. Maybe. I mean, it's hard to say he is tutoring every turn after all. Alright, well, I'll thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.